day guys, it's Co Francis and it's been a while and I'm back. Today I want to show you how to use a spray paint to vanish your artwork. Vanishing an artwork is primarily an aesthetic choice on the final piece of any artwork. Not only can it really bring up the vibrancy and the richness of your artwork, but it offers protection for the artwork surface. From atmospheric effect to make the surface easier to clean in the future. In order to make you understand, I will be vanishing at least three artworks in this video. So as you can see I'm already adding some spray, I'm already spraying the fugitive on this particular artwork. This is my separate so I'm gently applying the fugitive on it. At the end of the application you get to see the the work we automatically become very shiny, glossy and beautiful and attractive as well. So this is a physical spray I'm talking about. You have to apply you have to work properly with physity, you have to shake it a little in order to soften the soft hands inside and to make it easier to spray, right? Let's quickly do that. See, cutting out wall is a process on its own, but there is something so crucial I would like to show you. There's something so important I would like to show you. Most times you see me draw with oil, I coat my charcoal areas with oil for a specific reason. So one of the reasons is that it helps me to define the space in between objects that I'm drawing, objects of different variation, light tones, dark tones, and the rest. And secondly, it makes the surface that the surface that I'm working to be a little bit neat so I can clearly define what I'm drawing. So, as you can see in uh, this current position, this artwork, I would say, is turning into a fine piece of artwork. We hear your opinions on the comment box about that too. So we have it is a shiny, glossy piece of artwork. The dark areas are looking pitch black. The charcoal areas are looking pitch black. The, the you see, it's very shiny, looking nice. Huh? Looking well coated, doesn't stain anything. Work. So we'll move on to coat another artwork. So this how is done. I'll, I'll be showing you gradually showing you. So clean up the space and we're going to apply our fizzer teeth as usual. Now when applying the fizzer teeth, I want you to note something. You don't just apply fizzer teeth in a soft way. You have to like do it heavy, like to make it more shiny. When coating, you don't coat something soft, you coat it hard, like just the same way I'm doing it. If not, you might end up having an area where your hands can still stain. But when you when the work is coated nicely like this, you never see any area where your hand will be standing. Don't forget to put on your nose mask because 
charcoal pencil contains some some gases it emits some gases so you have to protect yourself you have to be very careful when working with dust graphite pencil dust charcoal dust and the rest god make sure you use your nose mask to cover your nose streets so as you see we're done with that don't go thin don't forget to like this video comment on the comment box and uh, and so, most importantly, subscribe this channel. And don't also forget to hit your notification button to get more notifications and thumbs up for more videos like this. Hey, wait a minute. Something big is coming, right? See you next week and thank you. Bye.